Hey Cowboys Nation, let's go for another round of news from America's team. Watch until the end so you don't miss any news and sign up to stay tuned for everything that comes out about the Cowboys. Micah Parsons reveals Dak Prescott's expletive-filled message to Cowboys. That, um, seeing Dak's energy, saying, turn me the F up, go stop them, like, I'm like, damn, like, shit, <laughs> shit made me blush a little bit. I was like, ah, that's, that's my quarterback right there, like, so, you know, um, that, that's always just exciting, you know, that energy he brings, that fire, um, he's in a different pace. Uh, this is the type of quarterback that's going to win us the Super Bowl. You know, as soon as he got that two-point conversion, he came on the sideline. Y'all might see it on the uh, sideline cam. He's like, "Go ahead, get a stop now. It's y'all turn. We did it." Like I was like, "Oh, I got you, brother. I know how it feels. I got you. I got you." The latest Dallas Cowboys news reveals that Dak Prescott did not mince words in challenging the defense against the Seattle Seahawks. After the Cowboys successfully scored on a two-point conversion to go up 38 to 35. Micah Parsons revealed that Prescott challenged the defense on the sideline. Seeing Doc's energy saying, turn me the F up. Go stop them. I'm like, damn, like s asterisk 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 made me blush a little bit. Parsons told reporters with a smile during a November 30, 2023 media session. That's my quarterback right there. That's always just exciting. That energy he brings, that fire. Parsons took these strong words as a good thing. The Cowboys star believes Prescott's intense energy is going to win us the Super Bowl. He's in a different pace, Parsons adds. This is the type of quarterback that's going to win us the Super Bowl. Parsons also provided a bit more context on the interaction. The moment came with about four minutes remaining in the fourth quarter of the NFC thriller against the Seahawks. As soon as he got that two-point conversion, he came on the sideline. He's like, get AM asterisk up now. It's y'all turn. We did it, Parsons recalled on Prescott's fiery comments. I was like, all right, I got you, but I know how it feels. I got you, Dak Prescott to Dallas Cowboys defense, go win the effing game. Prescott did not go into as many explicit details as Parsons. The Cowboys quarterback admitted that he was fired up. Prescott added that going against the defense during practice helps him know the level the unit can play at on game days. The MVP candidate wanted the Cowboys' defense to flip the switch. Yeah, see, I don't even know what I said probably just, go win the effing game, Prescott explained during a November 30th press conference. Yeah and then they did. That's a group that I go against each and every week. And when we talk about being in those situations and practicing those situations, it's the ones versus the ones, and so that's the iron sharpens iron, phrase. The deal is that they've beat us numerous of times. We've got them sometimes. And so, it's like I know how good y'all are. Flip the switch. Lock your focus in and go get it done. Cowboys news. Dak Prescott is playing on an NFL MVP level. Prescott has a reason to be fired up as the star is playing like one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. The veteran threw for 299 yards, three touchdowns and no interceptions while completing more than 70% of his passes against Seattle. This comes after Prescott had 331 passing yards and four touchdowns, plus an epic turkey leg celebration, against the Commanders on Thanksgiving. Prescott's interceptions seem to be a thing of the past. The quarterback has just six picks this season down considerably from his career-high 15 interceptions in 2022. Prescott has not thrown a pick in four of his last five outings. They've never had a QB win MVP, NFL Network's Kyle Brandt detailed on a December 1st episode of Good Morning Football. Doc is playing better than any Cowboys QB in decades. Imagine, dear Cowboys fans, an electrifying scenario for the upcoming season. Zach Ertz, a true force on the field, donning the iconic Dallas star. Now, we're not just talking about a reinforcement. We're talking about a player who could be the key piece to lead the Cowboys to the long-awaited Super Bowl. Zach Ertz isn't just a talented tight end. He's a dream builder on the sports stage. If we consider the undeniable synergy between Ertz and Dak Prescott, 
we can envision incredible connections and plays that will leave everyone in awe. The explosive combination of these two athletes could create epic moments that resonate in NFL history. Ertz's magic doesn't stop on the field. His presence would bring a wave of enthusiasm and confidence to the team, something vital to paving the way to the Super Bowl. Moreover, think about the marketing opportunities and advertising campaigns with Ertz as the centerpiece. The fusion of the player's talent with the greatness of the Cowboys would be a true spectacle for fans, creating an aura of anticipation in every game. Now, envision the moment when Zach Ertz, with the gleaming star on his helmet, raises the Super Bowl trophy toward the Dallas skies. An image that would be etched in the memory of all fans, sealing the triumphant journey of the Cowboys. After all, in American football, it's not just about signings and plays but the construction of immortal legacies. Are we about to witness the most grandiose chapter in the history of the Dallas Cowboys? The answer might lie in Zach Ertz's arrival. Stay tuned because this could be the storyline everyone has been eagerly waiting for. Cowboys CeeDee Lamb makes honest confession on dropped TD. On a third and 12 play from the Seahawks' 19-yard line on Thursday night in Dallas, Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott dropped back and saw the smallest of windows at the goal line. Two defensive backs, Quandre Diggs and Devin Witherspoon, were bookending CeeDee Lamb, and linebacker Bobby Wagner was just a few yards in front. But Prescott tried, anyway, to squeeze the pass into his star receiver. In real time, and even in replays, it looked like the ball was tipped by Diggs then zipped through the hands of Lamb. It went for an incomplete and with the Cowboys trailing, 35-27, they settled for a field goal instead of a chance to tie with a two-point conversion had Lamb held onto the ball. And after the game, which the Cowboys came back to win with a 41-35 victory, Lamb confessed that the ball was not tipped. He had a decidedly honest take, he just dropped it. Great ball, Lamb said in the Cowboys' locker room. Obviously, that was me lacking concentration. I was the only one that touched the ball. So I've definitely got to come up with it. Great ball by Doc. Appreciate him trusting in me. I'll be better next time. Cowboys CeeDee Lamb has sixth 100-yard game for CeeDee Lamb, who is in the midst of an amazing run in what has been an amazing season. Thursday's win over the Seahawks was another building block in his own personal statistical juggernaut, as he racked up another touchdown catch as well as 116 yards receiving on 12 catches. He is now second in the NFL in receptions, 90, and yardage, 1,182, and has seven touchdown catches, tied for fifth in the league. After a pair of so-so days, stats-wise, in blowouts over the Panthers and Giants, Lamb topped 100 yards for the sixth time this season. He now has a touchdown from Dak Prescott in four straight games. But it is the drop touchdown and, before that, a drop in the flat on a fourth and two play that stuck with him. I had a couple of plays that I let go through my hands. But it's all about adversity and bouncing back and that I feel like I did for my team, Lamb said.